right, so here's the deal. I have a lot to do, so I'm gonna get right into this one. This is what I currently have set up for flux and stable video diffusion. Starting over on the left, we have our unified loader for our flux model, clip, and VAE. We can, of course, use our LLM or not, depending on what we're trying to do. Then we have our latent chooser, which we can use to either generate a latent image or import an image to use as our latent image. In either case, that will go through flux and produce one or more images, which you can choose from here to be passed on to SVD. Then over in SVD, we have the new SVD sampler, which if you remember from our old SVD video, this is how we had it set up. The checkpoint, of course, to load SVD, the video linear guidance and SVD image to video conditioning that went through the K sampler and got decoded. And then the frames went through the film VFI for frame interpolation to smooth out our video, which was then combined into our final output video. So the new SVD sampler cleans up all five of these nodes. I could have included the film VFI functionality into the SVD sampler as well, but my goal is to not import any other custom nodes into my nodes. So that way there are no external dependencies when you download my nodes. All of these five nodes are from the comfy core. So whenever you install the SVD sampler, there's nothing else you need to get it running. If you want the film VFI, of course, that is not my node. So you will have to install that separately, but you can just use my node to go straight from the sampler to the video combine if you don't have film VFI installed. The parameters on the SVD sampler are the same as the parameters on this collective group of nodes here. So there's nothing new for you to understand. If you've already watched the previous SVD video, you will know how to use this SVD sampler. The one thing that is different is down at the bottom of the sampler here, you have this extend count parameter, which you can bump up to a max of 100. And this will allow you to extend the duration of your video. The way that this is accomplished is by running SVD as usual to produce a batch of frames. And then the final frame from that batch is taken and sent back through SVD to generate a new batch of frames from that starting point. And this is done for as many times as you have in your extend count. So if you have SVD set up to produce 24 frames at 12 frames per second, that will produce two seconds of video for you and then the final frame in that two seconds will be sent back through SVD to produce another two seconds of video and on and on depending on what you have this number set to. At the end all of the frames are batched up and then you can send that batch either through the film VFI first and then to the video combine or again you could just go straight to the video combine if you don't have the film VFI installed. And so this is the result and if we open this in a new tab we can see our guy walking down on the street here. And of course you'll notice some problems. If I drag this slowly across, you can see that the first couple of seconds are pretty good. And then right at the halfway mark here, we can see that there is a change in the quality. The second half of the video does indeed pick up where we left off on the last frame of the first video, which is a pretty nice success, but the coloring is degraded. And right in here, there is a little stutter. And so what's going on here is that the initial frame produced by Flux is of course a really high quality image and SVD is able to do a pretty good job with that, but inevitably the frames produced by SVD are not going to be the same quality as the initial frame that was produced by Flux. So by taking the last frame of the SVD generated sequence and using that to generate a subsequent sequence, SVD doesn't have nearly as good of a starting point as it did with the initial frame that it got from Flux. And so the quality of the subsequent sequence is degraded. Obviously that is a problem, so I thought to myself, what if we take Take the last frame of the SVD generated sequence and send that back through Flux for processing to produce a new high quality frame for SVD to start with on the second sequence. And then I thought to myself, why stop there? Why not take all of the frames generated by SVD and send them all back through Flux so that all of the frames in our final output video are high quality Flux generated images. So that is exactly the plan. We are going to use Flux to generate our initial image for SVD to use to produce our video sequence. And then all of those frames will get sent back through Flux for processing to ensure that all of the frames in our final video will be high quality Flux produced images. And then all of those 
flux frames will get sent to the video combine or first through the film VFI if you'd like to produce your output video. And if you have the extend count set to two or greater, the final frame of each sequence will get sent back to flux for processing before each new sequence is generated. And then once all of your sequences are generated, all of the frames from every sequence will be batched together and sent back through flux for processing to make sure that every frame in the batch is a high quality image. So what you end up with is a node that essentially turns flux into a video generation model and as i mentioned before all of this will be built on top of comfy core so there is nothing else you need to install as long as you have this node and a flux model and an svd model this will work for you and of course you'll be able to use this with flux dev or nf4 i think it's important to have something like this because while svd and animate diff are pretty nifty on their own i don't know about you guys but i don't really want some Something nifty. I don't want something that feels like a toy to produce maybe two seconds of decent quality video for me. I want long videos that are really high quality. So it is 11.15 right now as I'm looking at the clock. I am going to hastily edit and publish this video and I think if I start working on this project within the next hour or two, I believe that I should be able to get it done by tomorrow. All of the infrastructure exists in Comfy Core already ready it just needs to be packaged in a way that's useful so i'm going to cut this one here and get to work make sure to like and subscribe if you are not already and share the video with anyone you know who might find it interesting i should be back with some very good news for you guys tomorrow so i will see you then take care